Good morning from Hot Springs, Arkansas. Crazy people. Because it's baths, right? So you just gotta be bath-related items. This is wonderful. Gotta get into the spirit. <laughs> We're Michael and Hollow. World travelers. Oh avid scuba divers. And food lovers. <laughs> we quit our jobs in 2019 to travel the world full time. Mission success. Unfortunately, in 2020, we had to fly back home to the States due to the COVID pandemic. So, we bought a camper van, adopted a sweet German shepherd named Hannah, and now the three of us continue on with our full-time travel around North America in our home on wheels. Previously on the vlog, we spent 48 hours driving through Oklahoma, where we had what was probably the best burger we've ever tasted. Nothing depressing about this. Before crossing into the state of Arkansas. Yeah, definitely needs to be washed. We get all this bug juice and stuff. Ew. He's a keeper, guys. Why is he smoking in a gas station? That's armadillo? I think so, yeah. No, it's a raccoon. Wow. That's an Arkansas uh, raccoon. Yeah. <laughs> Morning from Hot Springs, Arkansas. Yes, it's a little town in the middle of Arkansas that also happens to be a national park. You think about national park, it's like a big thing like Yosemite, Yellowstone, Mount, Mount Rushmore, all these places. But no, this is actually a small town. It is full of hot springs and a couple cold ones that are fed by water underground that has been flowing for thousands of years. And it's absolutely the reason for the town's existence. In the early 1900s, just a lot of rich and famous people come here because they want to get the experience of the hot springs. Therapeutic, know, yeah, yeah. Therapeutic and stuff like that. So they actually built a lot of fancy fat houses and that's part of the national park. So we want to taste this water. We're going to taste a few of the different springs around here. And we're also going to taste some beer that's made from the water. And you know, of course, that's right up my alley. We love hiking trails and there's a lot of hiking trails as part of the Hot Springs National Park. Yep, so we're gonna do a few of those yeah. and take Kana on a well-deserved hike to start our experience in Hot Springs. Let's get going. The first one here is at the front of the administrative building for the National Park Service and it actually looks pretty hot. Oh, that's too hot to bathe in. You can definitely see the steam of it. I'm not sure if I drink out of this one because you can see all the algae is, but yeah. Right over here, there is a fountain. You got to use the cup. Okay, these are hot. I wish I had a tea bag, but <laughs> I'm not really a fan of drinking warm water, but we'll try it. We gotta try it, right? And there is a sign on the front that says there's a $5,000 fine for coming here and filling up bottles to sell. It's for personal use only. Actually, it just kind of tastes like regular water, but warm. <laughs> it tastes totally fine. It's healthier, maybe. Well, I'm sure it is because of the minerals and things in it. Does it taste good? It's is delicious. It, is, it, is it cold or is that hot? It's hot. It's the hot. Hot Springs Visitor Center has an oversized parking spot for RVs and buses. That's where we park our van. Just outside the main visitor center, there is a spring that is very popular with locals. It's hot water, so it's not going to taste very good right off the bat. But. I'm going to be more creative today, so I'm going to make tea. Because the water is hot, right? So, voila, make a tea. And you let that steep for a while while we go for a walk. Yes. You look like a prospector. This you got your is water, my cup. You got your water bottle on your back. You got your tin cup on the front. All you need is a pickaxe. Yar! <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yeah, that's a pirate hall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're at the beginning of something that's called a Grand Promenade. This is basically the must-do trail here in Hot Springs. It actually takes you to several different springs including one that happens to be a cold spring. Off we go. Oh, Michael and stairs. Holy moly. So the Grand so. Promenade Trail is just slightly above the bath houses row. Kind of interesting to see all of these historical buildings just slightly elevated and be able to see down to the street level. Drink the water, kind of. You want a drink? No. It's really hot. <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> you want a touch of water? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Got me yesterday, Hala. Thank you. 
Michael sticking up a GoPro in the hot water. One of the very cool things I like about hot springs is that you can just randomly run into a hot springs here. Strangely enough, they're just so relaxing. Except, you know, we just happen to be next to the forklift. <laughs> Our trail this morning is called the Ortel Trail. It is also called the Dead Chief Trail. It's about 1.7 miles from the visitor center. Good girl. According to this, that's a campground. And it's in a gorge. A gorge. So we have to walk all the way back up this mountain after this. Yes. You didn't tell me that before you got me going on this trail, did you? I already explained it in the map. The map looks flat. You can't tell you're going up and down. Uh. Oh, I'm gonna earn these steps today. Good. Oh, nice. The bridge. Wow. Somebody's really doing a great job stacking those rocks. Look at that. So this is it, Gulf of Gorge Campground. It's first come, first serve, pay when you get here. 40 spots, they all have hookups, they all have electricity, and they have no showers, which is unusual for a campground, but this is a national park, so maybe it's a little bit different. If you want a spot here, you have to get here early in the morning or around checkout time. It's very, very popular. This is usually the case. If you're a full-time RVer, you can usually volunteer to be a campground host. You have to go through a training program, background check. In most parks, not all, campground hosts have full hookups, electricity, water and sewer, or access to it. So this sort of reminds me of what my mom and dad used to do. They used to go to Florida every year and take their fifth wheel RV with them. They would do things like this, have signs outside that welcome to Fran and Jack's place or something similar. They would have tablecloth out, maybe some plants around just to make it feel more like home. Oh, what's her name? Luna. You wanna put stickers like that in our van? No? Oh, that's cool. Fan livers. I also like the I Love Gluten. <laughs> oh, they've been around for sure. Not a bad hike. No. I thought this was going to be all the way up to the top of the hill and when you said you wanted to do it, I was like, oh. But uh, you know what, I can stop whining. <laughs> we made it. We made it. Pretty good looking for you. Thank you. Yeah. I've been exercising. We knew there's a tower up we here. We made it. Well, we did. That's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> for many people who visit Hot Springs National Park, one of the highlights is this tower behind me. And if you want to go into it, all you have to do is pay $10, you get a coin, put it in the turnstile, and go in and up. If you have a national park pass, it's only $6. We're not going up because we have a dog with us, but you can either drive up to the tower or you can hike up using one of the trails. And we just learned that the height of this tower is 183 feet high. It's not as tall as I thought it would be. I'm gonna go take a look inside. What's an American attraction without a magnificent gift shop, right? Here, you can get all sorts of souvenirs. Although we have to admit that these are very desirable items to get. After the hike, we're back in the Hot Springs Town Center for some urban exploration. You can find most visitors here around the beautiful urban setting of Hot Springs. How you doing? All right, happy hollow. Happy hollow. Happy hollow spring. Masking up. Yep. I'm gonna try. Yep. Is it cold water? Is this cold? Yeah, this is one of the two cold ones, I think. Cold? It's really, really cool. It's really good water. So, of course, I have to fill up my water bottle because it tastes actually approved by Michael. Amazing how much water gets sold here when it's really good for free. Yeah. You got the one that's right on the main drag, right? So, in every spring here, the National Park Service has a report of the contents of each mineral. Granted, I'm not a scientist, so I don't know what's the difference between magnesium, whatever percent, but it's a fun fact. They actually have this really neat thing here where you can take an audio phone tour by dialing a number, which we're gonna do right now. This tour is free, but your normal service plan rates do apply. The hot water cascade above Arlington Lawn shows Very how the cool. area looks well, unfortunately, on this one, we can't really taste it. No, but we could probably like go get some soap and bring Kana back here for a bath. She's gonna boil to death. It's not that hot. It is hot too. It's, it's hot, but it's not that hot. All right, I dare you to put your fingers up for about five seconds. Okay, let's do it. Maybe 10 seconds. <laughs> that was eight seconds. Eight seconds? Yeah. So? It's hot. Yeah? Yeah. 
you can see the difference my hands this one's quite red oh it is actually different yeah only minor second or third degree burns okay <laughs> and it ha happens there's an ambulance across the street so <laughs> we're here at the arlington hotel now and it is like go big or go home right it's one of these places that was built back in the day that famous people will come here. It's actually on the, the baseball tour here because a lot of famous baseball players from the early days used to stay here, including people like Joe DiMaggio. Is that a baseball player? Oh my Sorry, God. sorry, I don't know. But, but anyway. You seriously didn't know who Joe DiMaggio was? It's a baseball player. Yes, he was married to Marilyn Monroe, among many other great baseball things. And she had an affair with JFK. But she was married to Joe DiMaggio. All right. The thing you learn from Hot Springs, Arkansas. <laughs> or, you know, just being an American. He's not yeah. a pretty dog. One of the things that let you know that you're back in the South are these magnolia trees. And one of the things that lets you know you're in Hot Springs are all these beautiful bathhouses that are behind me right now. The architecture is beautiful. They were built in the 1910s, 1920s to cater to the rich and famous that used to come here to vacation. And the unique thing about this is that if you were just here just as a visitor and you didn't know anything about the place, you would think you're just in the middle of a small, medium-sized city that just happened to have a few beautiful buildings. But this is a national park. This whole place is a national park to protect these baths for generations to come. These bath houses reminds me of Budapest. Sechenyi or Rudas, they just like look like this. Ah, yes. Of course, the highlight of Hot Springs National Park are these beautiful bathhouses. This is Bathhouse Row, a collection of eight elegant bathhouses which line the street. Buckstaff, Fordyce, which also houses the National Park's Visitor Center for information and passport stamps. They get the stamp out here for us. Mm -hmm. Hale, Lamar, Maurice, Ozark, Kawpaw. <laughs> and this one's my personal favorite, Superior Baths, where the brewery is located. Hold yourself, Marco. Hold yourself together. I feel like the magnet is pulling me in. <laughs> After walking around for the whole day in Hot Springs, we are going to a place called Superior Baths Brewery. It is known for a couple of things. One, it is the first brewery that was established inside of a U.S. national park. And two, and probably the most unique thing of all, is that we're in Hot Springs. What is Hot Springs known for? It's known for water. And it is the only brewery in the world that uses water from the hot springs like this to make beer. It's dog friendly for friendly dogs. So we're really looking forward to trying it, so let's go inside. Hello. Oh, this is great. This brewery is located on the side of the retrofitted Superior Baths. They did a great job converting the interior while maintaining the historical essence of the place. It's definitely one of the most interesting breweries that we've ever visited. Anyway, we're here for the beer and snacks. Good girl, Hannah. Our IPA, um, it's kind of a tie between the Northwoods and the Space Force. This is the first beer that we brewed when we opened, and this is going to be the last batch we ever made. It's younger. It's nice, isn't it? Is that the lawn in Arkansas? Perfect. All right, I'll be right back with yours, guys. So for you, we've ordered nothing, but I'm sure you'll get a bit of pretzel. Thank you so much. All right, which one is which? This is going to be your pineapple sour, your Kolsch, your pickle sour, and then your... Um, Elixir. Yeah, your yeah, idea. Yeah. Awesome. There's so many choices here. At the end, I decided to get like a sampler. I think it's called a flight. This is my favorite one, the pineapple flavor. Mm, so that could suck. It definitely tastes pineapple-y. Lightly bitter. It's really good. And then Kolsch. It's okay. It's, it's not really my favorite. Well, I'll so. take it. And Elixir. It's not bad. My favorite is definitely the first one, the pineapple kawaii. I'm a big fan of IPAs, and as soon as you said the word hazy, it's like a no-brainer to me. It is a Space Force hazy IPA. Oh, that's as good as any hazy IPA that I've ever had. Yeah. I really want to try your pickle yeah. juice IPA. Go ahead. Just a little taste. I'm sort of getting the dill smell from it. Oh, I don't like that at all. No? Nope. Enjoy. All right. Drinking inside a national park is definitely an awesome experience. 
I just dropped my cup. <laughs> Sorry, Kana. <laughs> the coolest thing about this brewery, other than that they brew their beer with spring water from the small hot springs here, is that they let dogs in here. She loves being able to come in with us. Yeah. Pretzels, so pepper. Oh my goodness. We got beer cheese, honey mustard, barbecue sauce. Oh wow, awesome. Thank you so much. I absolutely love shishito peppers. Is that ranch dressing? Probably. Or something, you know, good in Japanese. Right now, the pretzels. So I think the beer batter is the second one. Oops. Oh, that's a good dipping sauce right there. Mm. Oh, that's beer cheese. Two of my favorite things. Yeah. <laughs> Kama has to get her stuff too. It's good. There was absolutely nothing wrong with that dish whatsoever. The dill pickle one. It just tastes like pickle juice with like vodka in it. So it tastes no. like oh, alcohol in it. I mean, if you're desperate, I guess. Save the best for last. Yeah, that was really good. The food wasn't mediocre, it was actually really good. Highly recommend it. Yeah. It's a really great experience all around. The service alone here is worth it. Shout yeah. out to Delilah, I liked her a lot. And not every day you drink inside a national park. That's right, <laughs> not every day you drink pickle juice beer. Oh my God. Well, that's it for us from Hot Springs, Arkansas. If you like this video, please don't forget to give a like. And if you'd like to follow along with our journey all across North America, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications every time we post something new, hit the bell. <laughs> Let's go fill up our jugs with spring water. High water snob. signal lost. Did you get good enough shots at the bar yesterday? I think so. Why? We don't need to go back and redo it all. Uh, nice try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, let me know. And that's the last time I saw them. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't think he left me. Hey!